Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams, remember the name. I've been feeling like I'm ready for the top. Got the pedal to the metal. I've been grinding non-stop. Killing every instrumental. And I knew just what I wanted. Now I gotta go and get it. And I'm never looking back. Only looking where I'm headed. And I doubt it for a minute. Trying to get another win. I burned a lot of bridges. But I know that I can swim. I don't need nobody else. People trying to take my credit. I can do it by myself. Cause I got it all embedded in my mind. What is up my dudes? First things first. Welcome to the video. Welcome to my Sunday fun day, and what do you know? It is shoe hunt o'clock, so let's do the dang thing. The game plan is to try and hit the trifecta, which means Ross, Marshalls, and Burlington. I'm posted up outside of Ross right now, so I guess may as well start there first, and then we'll hit up Marshalls after that, because it's right next door. And then last but not least, will be Burlington to finish the trifecta. So, let the games begin all right so usually i always hit up the men's shoe section first but today let's switch things up a little bit go ahead and check out the kids section then the women's section and then last but not least the men's section well well, well thank goodness i checked out the kids shoe section first because if i didn't there's a pretty solid chance i would have missed out on all these amazing finds you guys see behind me if you have a sarcasm detector, it may be going bonkers right now. Do I detect a note of sarcasm? Are you kidding me? This baby is off the charts. But for real though, I did spot one possible winner. If I can uh, find it again, that is. There we go, size 34. Exactly what I'm looking for. And here we go. These are red Kobe's of some type. They honestly don't look like the uh, highest quality Kobe's in the world. Obviously kid size size four and a half for 55 bucks just a little bit on the pricey side for a kid size four and a half if you ask me but there are kobe's so uh we'll grab them for now check them out see if we can find anything else in the meantime i'll do one more quick run through through the kids section real quick and then after that onward and upward to women's section all right so i was wrong turns out these kobe's aren't a kid size they're actually technically a men's size i guess size four and a half which is probably close to as small as uh, men's sizes go, I would imagine. But the size doesn't really matter because as you guys can see on the screen, right here, these dudes and reselling do not go together like peanut butter and jelly, which means no go. Sorry dudes, back to the shelf you go. Well, 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 as you guys can see, the shelves have finally been restocked. Unfortunately, the good finds are nowhere to be seen unless they're invisible and they're hiding amongst the uh, not so good finds you guys see behind me which means on to the next one and by on to the next one i do mean our good friend mr marshall's if it's open that is which uh as you guys can see by the hours of operation right here sunday fun day is the only day they close early dang it now uh there goes our dreams of hitting that trifecta i guess now uh just gotta hope that Burlington's open and there will be some sort of good finds to be had. Hopefully. Because if not, this will be quite a disappointment. Well, peace out, Ross. Peace out, Marshalls. Thanks for nothing. But no worries, guys. Lady Luck may indeed be back on our side once again. Because you guys see the little object over there on the pavement? Yeah. Well, let's get a little closer and check it out. Hey, hey, hey. What do we have here? A fresh and super clean, brand new pair of white Adidas. Oh, free! It's my favorite price, man. Lady Luck is back, yes. We go ahead and snag those, throw them in the back, and off to Burlington we go. Cha-ching! <laughs> man, I think this is the first time I've been back to this Burlington since it finally reopened. And I swear, every time I come to this Burlington, they switch up the men's shoe section on me. Which means every time I come in here, I gotta play a little bit of a scavenger hunt just to find the goods. Which means... I wanna play a game. You guys down for a little treasure hunt slash scavenger hunt? All right, cool, me too. Let's do this. Which way, guys? Right or left? Right? Oh, crap, is that men's shoes? Or women's shoes? No, that's, of course that's women's shoes. Why would it be men's shoes? Find the kids' shoes, the women's shoes, last but not least. 
I'm thinking this way. What do you guys think? Yeah? Let's go check it out. All right, so I cruised through the men's section real quick, and I'll be honest, I was pretty optimistic right when I spotted a bunch of these dudes. I thought I finally found some more Nike high-end cleats, especially when I saw the comparable value right there, 112.50. Turns out, I think these exact cleats retail at like 150, and you can see Burlington selling them for 24.99. Based on that info, you guys can probably see why I thought I may have hit the jackpot. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, where you at? Nine. I know you're here somewhere, man. Don't hide from me. Don't hide. Oh, there we go. I see you. I see you, man. You're trying to hide. Spotted you, though. I tried telling you I was the man at hide and go seek. I know you're a ghost and all, but who are you going to call? When you're looking for a ghost, these guys. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! They picked up, helped me find the ghosts, and then unfortunately the eBay app let me down big time. As you guys can see right about here, and a little bit out here, there seems to be a little bit, all right, a huge flood. Of these phantom vision ghost nike skin something or other cleats on ebay and uh how much are they again 24.99 you guys can see they uh, don't resell for too too much more than that so my optimism quickly turned to a uh, little bit of that pessimism which it's not about that life so let's try and turn our luck upside down turn this frown upside down even though you guys can't see it beneath my bay mask but uh it's there just gotta trust me on this one so off to I don't know, different section we go. Get me out of here, man. I did spot one other potential good find, which I'll show you guys right about. Meow. These guys, these Dame Fives in like a white and I don't even know what this is. Honestly, like fruity pebble colorway. Probably definitely not what it's called. Looks more like Christmas tree or something, as far as the colors go at least. But $39.99, comparable value, 114. Thought it might be a decent find until I saw this unfortunate piece of information size 15 which uh yeah a little bit too big as a general rule of thumb for the most part anything over size 13 is in my experience typically not worth even trying to resell because it's going to sit on your shelf and collect dust grow some roots like my boy Groot I am Groot and it's just going to be a headache man so uh unless it's a really 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 good find probably not worth the trouble but that's my advice your experience may differ a few minutes later the time has come for our last hope of the evening which just happens to be the ladies shoe section so fingers crossed we find at least one shiny nice little piece of treasure like material in the shape of a shoe or a sneaker please the good fine gods i know you're up there watching man give me something show me a sign anything Preferably a good sign though. Like I said, nice shiny Vapor Max would do it. You know, I'm not too picky. Five minutes later. Well, that was quick. Quick and disappointing. That's what she said. <clears throat> no. My prayers and calls to the good fine gods upstairs were not answered. And uh, I don't know if I'm seeing things or what, but the women's shoe section used to be like 15 or 20 aisles. Now it consists of a grand total of like five aisles, maybe a few more. And I'm pretty sure that's because as you guys can see behind me, this little half wall right here that extends the whole length of the store. I'm gonna call it the uh, Berlin Wall of Burlington. You know what? I'll just go ahead and call it the Burlington Wall. <laughs> because for whatever reason, it's closed off half the store which means their inventory is naturally like half the size which means our chance to spot some good finds just got cut in two or half or you guys know what i'm talking about many many minutes later well guys you win some you lose some and today we definitely came away with an l as far as reselling stuff goes but I did not come away empty handed. For those of you that don't know, I have a little man at home that just turned seven. And let's just say when I get home, it's gonna be just about sneak attack 30. Courtesy of my new friend, Mr. Nerf Gun. Oh yeah, let the games begin. I love being a dad, man. Nerf War 30, yeah, let's go. In times like these, when uh, the coronavirus 
pretty much keeps us or the majority of us from having any sort of fun outside sometimes you gotta bring the games inside and that's what i'm doing so right when i got home it's on like donkey kong so excited man so excited be more excited if that gym over there was open and other places were and there was no coronavirus going around and we could do fun stuff outside but you know you gotta do what you can make the best of your situation all day every day that's the name of the game that's how i try to live my life and uh my boy nerf definitely helps out with that so you got little dudes at home and you're dead you are most definitely probably all about that nerf life man i had some epic nerf wars when i was a kid now, I've been waiting for my son to get old enough to uh, bring back, or shall I say, relive some of those memories. So uh, to say I'm excited would be a little bit of an understatement. So excited. So excited. Let's go. Meanwhile. Oh boy, that's curb. Woo! That was a close one. <laughs> well, guys, you can't win them all, but you can damn sure have fun doing the damn thing. And that is is what I was trying to do. No matter how much success I have or how much luck I have or don't have, I was trying to enjoy what I'm doing. No matter what the side hustle is, whether it be shoe hunting, delivery stuff, back when I did web design, graphic design, just creating stuff in general, it's all up to you whether you actually enjoy it, man. And at the end of the day, above all else, the most important thing or one of the most important things to me for my life is to enjoy it. Enjoy every moment to the best of your ability. We all face our own trials and tribulations, our old road bumps, and trust me when I say this because I am absolutely 100% speaking from very personal experience. If you don't know, I've had skin cancer multiple times in my life and I'm only in my early 30s. And I also was blessed, blessed with a lifelong autoimmune disease called ulcerative colitis that uh, is pretty, to say the very least. And it's most likely going to affect every single moment for the rest of my life. But you just gotta do your best to deal with the hands you're dealt in life. As my boy Max Holloway likes to say, it is what it is. You gotta make the best of it. Find the silver lining in everything. And above all, most importantly, enjoy your life. Cause that's what it's all about, man. One life, enjoy it. And make no mistake about it. Every single person on planet earth at some point or another in their life does fall down but it's how you choose to get back up that ultimately helps define your character and your legacy. So I guess the moral of the story is never forget that you and only you are ultimately in charge of whether or not you enjoy your life or you hate your life. If you don't like what you're doing, if you're not passionate about it, if you dread getting up every day, going to your nine to five, do something about it now. Stop waiting, man. The longer you wait, the more miserable you're gonna become, the more negative energy you're gonna surround yourself with, and the deeper you're gonna continue to dig yourself into that hole that, trust me, is hard to get out of. Sometimes life seems hopeless. Sometimes it seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, but trust me when I say this, I'm speaking from very, very, very personal experience. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel and you are never too deep for the most part to dig yourself up and start building stairs to climb up to to get to your own version of success mountain that's all i gotta say about that hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed your day your night thanks for watching obviously we had zero luck as far as fines go so obviously i guess the best way to end this video is hmm ah to be continued stay limitless don't let anybody tell you that's all, folks. There's always more. You just got to ask for it. Now spread those wings and fly! Take a shot, you've got everything you'll ever need.